Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, check out what I just designed. This right here is a Mandalorian helmet, and on the back side, it has eyes right here. And that's not the only cool thing about it. The really cool thing about it is that it's a flicker. Check this out. Alright, so you just hold it like this, and then you give it a good flick. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, wanna learn how to fold it? Ready, ready, set, here goes. Okay, so here's the Mandalorian helmet flicker that I'm gonna try and teach you. And see, it looks really nice, it looks like a Mandal Mandalorian helmet. And on the back side, it has two eyes right here, and it has a small mouth right here, so it's like a face too. And this model is actually inspired by a Mandalorian helmet by Jeremy Schaefer, which you can check out right here. And yeah, so here I kind of designed my own version of it and here's what I came up with and I'm gonna show you how to fold it so for this model I'm going to use a seven inch square of Kami okay so uh, let's begin color side up and fold in half try to make very precise folds and crease sharply And if you want one that flies a little bit better, I actually recommend using a 6-inch square. So this one I folded from a 6-inch square, but I'm using a 7-inch square just to get one like this, to make it easier to follow. Okay, unfold, and now fold the edge to the crease. We're making a paper airplane fold. <clears throat> okay, and now we're going to do is we're going to take this edge, and we're going to fold it up how much? Well, this is the taste. So this is going to be half the thickness of this stripe right here. So if you want it fatter, fold it up more. But if you want it narrow, fold it less. But I'm just going to go somewhere, somewhere in between. So about like that. And make sure the edges align right there, too. And try and make it even all the way across. All right? And then once you get to here, we're gonna squash it, so squash it so that I'm trying to find my little pointer. I lost it. <clears throat> squash it so that that point right there aligns with this edge, and you want the edges to align right here too. Like this. Alright. And then now let's unfold that fold. And then now we're going to mount and fold it this time. So we're going to fold it inside on that crease. Okay? So we're going to kind of just make it like this. And let's mount and fold it on that crease. Like that. And then now refold this paper airplane fold. Alright, so there is half the thickness of the line. And now let's repeat on the other side. So on this one, let's just kind of um, let's lift this edge up so we can get it out of the way. And then let's do the same thing, and oh. and we're gonna we're gonna fold this edge up, and you could do it to taste, but there there actually is a guide mark, so we're gonna fold it right um right on that point right there. There's a point if you can see that. There's a little diagonal fold, so just fold it where that diagonal fold hits the edge right there. Alright. And then squash it down right there too. Increase sharply. <clears throat> now unfold. And now fold it inside. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Like that. And there is the the vertical part right there. Okay, so that was kind of a lot there, so I hope you can do that. <laughs> okay, and then now, um, the rest of the steps are actually a lot easier, so we're going to take this edge and we're going to fold it not directly to this edge, we're going to leave some space also, so we're going to make the horizontal part, which is a lot easier to fold than the vertical part, so just fold it and just try and match the thickness you did right here. So try and make it the same thickness. Doesn't need to be perfect. 
increase sharply. Okay, and then now turn over and let's fold this edge and this edge to the center. Okay, like this. And look, here's our helmet taking shape here. And now we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this edge and we're gonna fold it to this edge right here. Okay, and then now fold to the crease you just made. Like that, so there's one eye right there. And repeat on this side. Okay, and then now <clears throat> take this edge and fold it to this edge. And now unfold, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to kind of airplane fold it. Well, it's not going to be a exact airplane fold. We're going to fold it, and we're folding it right on that point right there. And you want this point to touch this crease right here. So this crease here. All right. And once you got it, crease that sharp. And now unfold. And now let's open this pocket here. And we're gonna refold on that crease, and we're gonna tuck that point into the pocket, like this. And that's what it looks like. I kind of like that lock right there. I think it's pretty cool. And now let's repeat on this side. So let's fold this little part right here in half first. So we get that crease in there. <clears throat> okay, unfold. And now fold this on that point and make this point touch this crease we just made. And crease that nice and sharp. And unfold it. And now open the the pocket right here and stick it in just like that okay and now we're gonna do is we're gonna take this flap right here and we're gonna fold it on this point and you want uh, this point right here to touch this top edge right here all layers like that and then I unfold it and now comes a little tricky step I mean it's not that it's tricky it's just it's it makes it hard because here I'll, I'll tell you in a minute so we're gonna tuck this inside and this is actually kind of tricky to do because we have to fold that interior layer inside too as we're doing it so just fold it in oh and make sure that this point doesn't come out of that pocket so and just reinsert it back in there There we go. And just kind of hold it there and then try and fold those edges inside. So it's like a little game right here. You have to try and get it in there. And there we go. Looks like I got it. So crease that nice and sharp right there. So that I'm going to say is probably the hardest step of the whole model. <laughs> and now repeat on this side. So fold this up on that point and make a uh, this point touch uh, this top edge. Increase that sharp and unfold that. And now let's do the tricky step. So hold this in place so this doesn't come out. And then now let's try and do the game here. Get both of those edges, this one and the interior one inside. that crease right there okay and there you almost got it and there you go looks like I got it right there okay and fold it like the kind of try and make it originate at that point right there and close enough is okay too okay there it's fine all right 
So there is the eyes right there. So the eyes are done. And now let's make a mouth. So if you want a mouth, then here's what we're gonna do. So this is, this is how we're gonna get rid of this ugly little white part right there. So turn it over and just fold it up. And this is to taste. You could fold it up aligning with that raw edge right there, but I'm actually gonna go up a little bit further like this. This is to taste. So just about like that. And then now let's kind of take that raw edge right here, kind of just open it up a little bit. And we're just gonna fold it up to taste. Be careful so you don't rip the paper. If it rips, it's all right. This is the back of the model anyway. So we're just making a curved fold right there. If you can see that, pretty narrow. <laughs> like that, and there it is, our mouth. Okay, so now the model is actually technically done. So if you just want a Mandalorian helmet, like this, then you're done. But if you want to make it as a flicker, then here's what we're gonna do. So turn over and let's fold these edges up a little bit. So you could do it to taste, but there's guide marks for this too. So fold this up so that this point right here touches that point. And try and make the fold even all the way across. Right here. And make sure that this point aligns with this crease. That, no, that edge right there. <laughs> and crease that nice and sharp right there. Okay, and now let's fold this edge up now. So, same thing, fold it up so that this point touches that point. And try and make it even all the way across. Okay, and then now we, we can we can actually skip this edge right here and let's go on to this edge. So this edge we, we're definitely going to have to fold up because see there's multiple edges right here and we don't want that so we just want to make it one folded edge. So this one you can just fold up to taste. Maybe match what you did here. Okay, and now let's skip this edge right here and let's move on to this edge. So, actually, no, before we do this edge, let's go on to this edge so we get that guide mark. So, fold this up, same thing. So, fold it so that this point touches that point right there. Okay, and now we can fold this edge up. So, fold it so that these two points right here touch. Oh, okay. Alright, and we are done. So there it is. And now pretty much the last step is let's just give it some curvature so it makes it fly a little bit better. Just curve it a little bit, like this. Or maybe if you want to curve even better, you can just, you can use the edge of a table right here, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to curve it like this. And alright, let's see how this sucker flies. Okay, so to fly this model, it's just like an ordinary flicker, so I'm going to hold it by the top right here, and I'm going to flick on this edge. So, here it goes. Oh yeah, that was really good. Alright, let's do it again. You can also try and flick it on this edge right here. Let's see how I can do that. Eh, it doesn't go quite as far when you flick on that edge. That was a fail. <laughs> So that was from 6 inch paper, and now the one I just made from 7 inch paper. And here it goes. Oh yeah. And now I'm going to try and flick it on this edge. It might not fly very well, but let's see. Oh, not bad actually. So maybe you just have to flick it really hard to do that. Oh yeah, so when it spins a lot in the air like that, it makes it fly awesome. Let's see that again in slow motion. Oh, yeah. Okay, one last time for this. Oh, yeah. And uh, for, the, for the heck of it, uh, I'll flick the one from six inch paper one more time. Oh, yeah. 
So there you have it. Alright, hope you guys were able to fold that and hope you enjoy flying it. And make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think. Alright, see you guys later.